Welcome to Intro to Java and AP Computer Science A. This lesson is about using objects. This is part one. And in this lesson, we're just gonna learn how to use objects to store data. And so we're gonna look at what is an object. We're gonna talk about dot notation, which you've seen if you've watched the other videos. Uh, we're gonna talk about storing data with primitives, and you know, we've done that. And we're gonna look at you know, why it's not always a good idea to do it that way, um, just you know, a separate variable for everything. You'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. And we'll talk about how to create some objects. There's a coding side, and then there's like the instantiation side, uh, which is also part of the code. So uh, yeah, get ready, here we go. So first part, using objects and dot notation. So in previous uh, units, we've seen this. So for example, string name equals uh, quote, Tokyo EdTech. Okay. So in this case, you can see that string is capitalized. So this tells us that string is a class, and a class is what defines an object. And then in this case, the object, you know, the variable name is called name, and then the, basically the value is Tokyo EdTech. So the question is, what makes this an object? Why, why do we say it's an object? Well, an object is, is a structure that has basically attributes and methods. So it has some values inside of it, has some data inside of it, and it has some methods that let us do something with that data. So for example, we could do the following. We could do int length, length equals uh, name dot length. So you see here we have the object, which is called name, and then we have this method called length, which returns the number of characters in it. So we could, then we can print that out, system.out.println uh, length. So let's go ahead and compile it. It's good practice to get into. I'm going to compile it. And it's successful. And I'm going to, uh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? OK, so it says, please define the main method as public static void main string args. OK, I missed the uh, brackets there. So it is good practice uh, to read your error messages. Okay, so you see here it says 11 because there are 11 characters in Tokyo EdTech. So we have the data side of it, which in this case is the value, the string value of Tokyo EdTech. Uh, but we also have some methods that let us access that information. So we have name.length. This is dot notation. So in this case, it's an object dot method. So next part is storing data with primitives. So this is, again, this is something that we've done already, and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but as your program gets bigger, as you have a lot more information, there are some problems with this. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at the following. So let's go ahead and do string, first name equals, let's say, Tony, and string, last name equals Stark. I hope the Marvel guys have a sense of humor, don't sue me. Uh, int age 53, uh, double height equals 183.0, or 25.0, I don't know, Robert Downey Jr. must be very tall, uh, unless that's the common version. And Boolean is alive equals false, as Tony Stark uh, sacrificed himself for humanity uh, at the end of Endgame. So you can see here, we've stored some data uh, in a bunch of primitives. Now, which, again, yeah, not a problem, but let's say, as we know, Tony Stark is not the only Avenger. So let's say we wanted to do Captain America. So we'll do Steve Rogers. Oops, sorry, Steve Rogers. His age is 34, but I think he's actually much older because of all the time travel shenanigans. And let's see, 180, I also have a list as 185, I'm not sure if that's correct. Anyway, it doesn't really matter uh, for, for our purposes, so true. So now we have a problem because we have two variables that have the same name. So as soon as I do this, this is erased. Okay. So what I'd have to do is two, 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 two. And two. Now I can do this, it's not a problem. Uh, then we have another Avenger, another Avenger, another Avenger, then we would, you know, let's say we have first name 50. Uh, so it's, it's gonna quickly, very, very quickly get out of hand, okay? 
So what we want to do is we want to avoid this problem of having two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 uh, et cetera, et cetera. Because, you know, who is first name two? Oh my God, was that, was that Tony Stark or was that Captain Rogers? Uh, was it was the Black Widow? I don't know. Okay. So this is where using objects to store data comes in. So what we're going to do is we are going to basically create one object that contains a mul multiple values. So what we want to end up being able to do is the following. We want to be able to do something like this. Iron Man dot first name equals Tony. That's what we want to end up being able to do. We want to do uh, Iron Man dot last name equals Stark. Again, this is what we want to end up being able to do. And I'll say Iron well, just, we'll just do a little bit here. Uh, and then we want to be able to do, we want to do, you know, Captain, Captain America dot first name equals Steve and Captain America dot last name equals Rogers. I think you can already see how this is easier. We've you know, clearly identified this as Iron Man. And then we said, well, Iron Man's got a first name, Iron Man's got a last name, and we'll go ahead, we can do age and all that, we'll do all that in a little bit here, okay? So to be able to do this, okay, to be able to do this, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, comment this out because we can't do that yet. If we try to compile, we'll get an error. I should compile the other one. Let's go ahead and compile it, just make sure the code's working, okay. So. This is what we want to be able to do. So to do that, we have to first tell the computer what attributes that this object will have. So one of, the, one of the big issues or one of the big challenges in coding and coding well is choosing good variable names and choosing names for things. So Steve Rogers and Tony Stark and you know, Black Widow and all the characters, you know, what are they? Now we, we call them superheroes, uh, but there's also people in the, in the Marvel Universe that aren't superheroes. Um, so they're people, but we're just gonna call them people. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new Java file. I'm gonna save it into the same folder. And where did I put everything here? Oof. Probably documents, there we go, Java files, objects. I'm gonna save this to the same folder and I'm going to call this person.java. Okay. So now watch what I do. I'm going to make a class called person. Okay, this is you know, no different to what we did before. But this part is different. This program using objects one Java is our runner. It's what we call a runner. It's, it's going to run our main program. That's why we have public static void main string args. Person.java, on the other hand, does not have a main method because it doesn't execute by itself. So what we need to do is tell the computer okay, what a person is, what their values are, and what their uh, attributes are. So watch what I do here. I'm gonna type public string first name equals quote quote. Notice there's no space here. This is an empty string. Now I could have done this uh, and basically what it would do, it would create what's called a null object. We're not ready for that yet. Um, so just to kind of keep, you know, keep our code kind of simple and understandable at this point, we're gonna stick with this. So public string last name. Okay. I'm going to do public int age equals zero. That's going to be my default value. Public double height equals 0, 0.0. And public double, uh, what was it? Oh, sorry, it's a boolean. Okay. Boolean is alive equals false. So that's going to be our default value. Okay. That's it. Okay, so what we've said here okay, is we've said that a person is an object. 
okay, the class defines an object. The person, any person object will have five attributes. These attributes are first name, last name, age, height, and is alive. Okay. First name is a string, last name is a string, age is an int, height is a double, is alive is a boolean. Okay. Now watch, I'm going to go ahead and compile this. Okay. Hopefully you should see compilation finish successfully. Now if I try to run this, you're going to get an error. Okay. It says, error, main method not found in class person. So because there is no main method, Java doesn't have any place to start. So now, now that I've done this, I can go down to here where it says how to create an object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pattern. So it is person, I'll say Iron Man equals new person. So what I've done here is I've created a variable called Iron Man. I have said that Iron Man is a person. And this person is a new person object. It hasn't been created before. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this and just make sure it works. Make sure it compiles. Okay. So compilation finished successfully. This tells me the code itself. There's nothing syntactically wrong with it. So now if I did this, if I said system system dot out dot dot print ln ironman dot uh, let's do age and if I compile it and run it, you'll see zero. That's because person dot java by default when we create the object sets the age here to zero. Now if I change this to 100. I don't want to do that, but if I did, and if I execute this, now it's 100. So what I've done is I've set my default values here. So when I create an object, we don't we don't have maybe we don't have all the information. Maybe we do. We have to add that. And you'll learn a lot more about this later in this course. Um, this is just really just to kind of get you started. Um, the thing here where it says public, just a quick side note, um, there's, there's different types of what's called access. There's public and there is private. I say, let me go public with that one. Uh, and I go private. Okay. So, so what happens here, I'm going to compile this. Okay, so now this one's private. I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to click compile. And it gives me an error. Age has private access in person. Okay. So what that means is the variable age, this attribute called age, because it's private, I can only use it inside this class. So I could do something like, you know, I wouldn't do this, but I could do system.out.println age. And that would work because it's private and I'm in the same class. Over here, I'm in a different class. This class is called using objects one. So because this is private, I can't access it from outside. Now, uh, especially if you're an AP computer science student, um, everything will have to be private. We'll learn more about how to do that later. Uh, but for now, this will get us started. Now you notice we are also, so let me recompile that. All that and run it, make sure it is working. Okay, so what we need to do now is to assign our variable values. Now, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a lazy guy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. <laughs> and uh, oops. now, notice I don't need to do string first name, I want to do iron man dot first name. Because I'm not, I'm not instantiating the variables. I am just assigning values at this point. Okay, so the type has already been declared over here in the class. So now I can do. I'm gonna copy that, paste it. 
for ironman.h, oh, sorry, say, say, say last name, I say first name, last name, age, uh, height, and uh, is alive. Now if I go ahead and compile that again, and then if I run it, you can see down here, 11 still, 11's coming from up here still. Um, so Iron Man's first name is Tony. His last name is Stark. Age is 53. Height is 185. And is alive is false. And there you have it. That's, that's pretty much, that was pretty much the whole idea behind this lesson. Now, if I wanted to create a person for Steve Rogers, I could do person cap, oops, Captain America equals new person. And then same thing, you know, uh, Captain America dot first name equals uh, Steve, etc., etc., etc. So now I can create as many people uh, as I like. And you just you can just see how you know much better and well organized this code is compared to having to do first name, first name two, first name three, first name four, first name five, etc., etc., etc. Uh, so that is one of the benefits of using a, a class-based organization. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this and show you that's that. Um, yeah, I think that's that's enough. I think that's what we wanted to cover in this lesson. It's a pretty quick one. So let me go back to the coding concept. So we looked at what is an object. So an object has attributes and methods. Uh, so our string objects had a uh, method like length. And the, the object that we just created, the person object, only has uh, attributes. We're, we're gonna learn how to make methods later. Um, dot notation, so it's the object dot attribute in this case, or object dot method. We, we reviewed storing data with primitives. That was first name, first name two, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see again, you know, if you have you know, 100 people, then you're gonna need 500 different variables. Um, so with a class-based thing, you have five variables with 100 different objects. So it's a lot easier to manage your data uh, in, that, in that fashion. Uh, and then we looked at how to create an object. Uh, we looked at the coding. And again, for this part of it, it's very, very simple. Let me go back to the main screen. So for this part of it, it's very, very simple. It's class, you know, whatever you wanna call that class, in this case, person. Again, we're gonna use public, the data type, the name of the, the, uh, the variable name, and then we gave it a default value. And then, we also did uh, how to instantiate objects, which was, you know, the, basically the pattern is, let me put that, oops, let me put that in there for you. Pattern is this, and you'll see this over and over again. It's class name, uh, you know, object name equals new class name. And so that, pat you'll see that pattern over and over, and over again. As a quick aside, we could also do strings, and strings are objects. We could do, we could create a string like, uh, so string name equals new string. And I say Tokyo EdTech. And then we'll get, we'll get to this part again also later and why sometimes we have values here and sometimes we don't. You got a lot to look forward to. So that is that. Uh, that's, that's the lesson. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in and uh, yeah, keep on coding. Take care.